Hey, hi. Gino Pettis Adventures. I'm still Gino. Still my adventures. And I got a good one, I think, for you today. And I don't really know how it's going to go, so I'm just going to let it roll out there. I got a confession to make. <clears throat> I was kind of under the opinion that if you could speak zero Spanish, you could still make it in Colombia. And I may be wrong. I may be wrong. I had a guy tell me he's got an 18-month theory. And the 18-month theory is the first six months is the honeymoon period. And you can put up with just about anything and you don't get frustrated because you can't tell people about this or you can't ask for that or you can't... You still, if you're by yourself and you don't have a significant other and you're just trying to do it by yourself with an expat group, it's going to be tough. And then the second six months uh, is going to be how you try to figure out how to save face and go home. You already told your parents, you already told your, your family, you already told your friends, you already sold everything and you moved to Columbia. And it's a year later and you're going, oh my God, I don't know if I want to do this. And your visa's running out and nine out of 10 expatriates that come down that cannot speak a word of being a Spanish will leave in the next six months. And that's a sad thing, but it's a reality. I mean, I, I, I am blessed because my wife married me in the United States and she, uh, she speaks absolutely no English whatsoever. Well, she can say no English. <clears throat> And so I can, she gets frustrated, but I don't get too frustrated. I've been blessed because she, I've got really good Spanish. I speak Mexican. I speak New Mexican. I speak Spanish. I don't speak Colombian. Well, I do now. Colombian, Colombian is different. They have 47 dialects here. So even if you speak Spanish well, in some instances it's going to be a struggle. It was for me. It was for me. And I'd like to apologize. This, this, this lady, I was watching on YouTube and she was renting her house for 2300 bucks a month. She was only making 3200 bucks a month. And she was whining and crying about how she was going broke and couldn't, couldn't get pay, her, pay her bills and everything. <clears throat> well, the odds are that lady didn't know one word of Spanish. Can you do it? You bet you you can do it. There's people that do it all the time. But you have got to want to do it. You have to be tenacious. Um, because just simple things like where do I go if I'm a, let's say I'm a chiropractor. Where do I go to get my United States license validated in Colombia? There's probably not a handful of people know the answer to that. My wife does, and I forget I forget the name of the place, but she knows. Um, when I got health insurance, she signed me up for this uh, Plan Bintiuno, and I would have never known about that. And she got I'm 72 years old, and for 40 bucks a month, I have all inclusive health care. Takes care of everything. Except dental, I think I don't know. I might even do dental, but how would I have known that if I didn't speak Spanish and I didn't? I know the questions to ask, okay? And she gets frustrated with me because she'll tell me something with some random, off the wall word <clears throat> that had to be a Mayan chant <clears throat> or something. Because I know, I mean, I've been speaking Spanish for 70 freaking years, and I never heard that word. And, and, and that's the problem. So here's the deal. If you want to succeed in Colombia, you need a significant other. 
You need a significant other that you can communicate with. This guy met his wife, wasn't his wife then, but what it met his, his woman five hours off the plane. He wasn't even going to stay. He just came for a vacation. And it's four years later, and he's still here. And she taught him how to speak Spanish. Um, and, and, and so you have to have a symbiotic relationship. Sorry about that. We're back in the States. A lot of sirens. Loud ones. So anyway, what I was saying is you have to have a symbiotic, symbiotic relationship uh, in order just to live. The first six months, it's it's like the honeymoon effect, and, and it doesn't really make a damn what you do, where you go. Even if you're frustrated, you, you just get over it. The second six months comes in the reality of, well, my internet broke, and I don't know how to talk to this guy on the phone uh, to tell him my internet broke. Man, that's got to be tough. That is going to be real tough. So you really need to do one of two things. You need to have a significant other that, that, that understands you, that you can communicate with, or you need to speak Spanish, and probably both. Because I still make Maria crazy. Because I know Spanish, if I was in Mexico, they wouldn't even, they would know exactly what I was talking about. In Mexico, they used to think I was from Venezuela or, or uh, <clears throat> Puerto Rico. They never thought I was an American. But here, Maria says, well, they think you're a Colombian until you open your mouth. And and sad to say, but that's, you know, that's probably true. That's probably true. But it doesn't, it, it doesn't matter because I've got her. She backs me up. Uh, my Spanish gets better by the day. As a matter of, I was to the point uh, recently, when I came a few days ago to Seattle here, uh, Bellingham, I'm forgetting vocabulary in English. That's scary. I mean, and I mean simple stuff like uh, uh, prescription. I couldn't think of the word prescription. How many times do you think in my lifetime I've said the word prescription? A lot? Yeah, a lot. So here's the deal. I will do my best to help you if you want to come down here. But you have to do your best to learn part of the language. I mean, and even if it's just a minuscule part of the language, uh, a simple part of the language, you have to be able to communicate a little bit. <clears throat> and, and or a significant other. Significant other is the way to go if you can. Uh, because they love you and they'll take care of you. And I guess that's about it. I hope that's honest enough. I don't I don't want you guys to come down here and blow yourself out of the water in six months. That would really suck. You need to come visit, take two or three weeks or a month or two months, cruise around Columbia <coughs> and see if you like it. I mean, I had struggles after the six months because it's different. It's not good or bad. It's just different. It is way cheap, but it is different. Um, you can't go to Whole Foods. Who wants to go to Whole Foods? Anyway, anyway that's a whole other story. I went to Home Depot today. That's like going to the candy store. I loved it. So... All that being said, uh, leave your comments. And by the way, if you've gotten this far and you do have a significant other down here and would like to be on my channel as an interview, leave it, leave it in, the, in the comments and I'll get back to you and we'll do a video conference and get you on Gino Pettis Adventures. I'd like that. I met a guy today. His name's Mike. He's got a... Uh, been going with ladies six months in 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 Colombia, and they're getting ready to get married. And that's pretty cool. 
and I'm going to try to get try to get him on uh, on the show here, so you guys can see what's going on. All that being said, <clears throat> this is the first day of the rest of your life. Nothing changes. Nothing changes. This is Gino signing off, and we'll see you on the flip side.